Capricorn. Welcome to your uh, forecast for December 2021 in Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Energies are non-gender specific. We will start off with a sound bowl for 20 seconds just to tune into the energies. And I'm going to keep this reading as brief as I can, quite clear and simple, um, so that people don't um, get bored <laughs> or switch off, because I know I ramble on a lot. Okay, so 20 seconds just to tune in before we begin. Capricorn, let's see what December is bringing you. Right, we're going to do three piles. First one will be your um, general energies, um, you're starting the month off. The second pile will be the challenges, the changes, obstacles, um, the unseen. And the third pile will be the culmination. So let us see what's coming up. I will shuffle and cut the deck, um, but I will get jumpers for the clarifiers at the end to go a bit deeper. Okay, so Capricorn, December 2021, for your highest good piece. What do they need to know? What energies are supporting them at this time? Oh. Okay, current energies, the magician. Oh, check you are a powerful manifesta uh, manifester. Okay, you are the alchemist starting the month. The challenge, the emperor, how to implement this in the practical world now that you've pulled it all in and how do you find longevity in that? How do you plan ahead? How do you deal with someone who's an emperor? And the outcome is strength. Ooh, okay. So strength talks about kind of having a bit of courage and stamina, um, taming the wild beast. Okay, so we you are ending the month off... Um, in a place where you will need to sort of get outside your comfort zone a wee bit but let's see how this plays out for you okay we're going to get three cards for each with the cutting of the deck Okay, the magician we have uh, a three of wands, period of waiting. We have a four of wands, structure stability, and eight of wands, fast movement forward. The emperor we have two of wands, taking the next step, how to navigate the energy, deciding. The hierophant how to play by the rules and work within the systems and organizations that be and the sun ooh la la abundance everything becoming illuminated for you strength ten of cups oh okay ten of cups which is ultimate happy ever after card basically ace of pentacles brand new start something that has longevity to it it could be new money new job new romance any of those things but a brand new beginning something you haven't seen before Okay, and the strength card again. Yeah, so we've got the strength card uh, repeated here. And we've got the, the lion now four times. Because in the emperor card and in the strength card, we've got a lion. And we've got the lion over there as well. In fact, in the good tarot deck, uh, one of the major arcanas is actually the love card, which also has someone in the lion. So that's quite interesting. So we've got a lot of Leo energy um, with you and when I say Leo energy it's just fire energy okay um, standing up for yourself taking taking bold steps forward um, despite despite the fear okay so let us clarify 
Right, why is the three of um so over here, what you're trying to manifest at the moment that as you as you start coming into uh, um as you start the month of December, you're in this energy of kind of pulling in all the tools that you have, all the elements that you have, and you're sort of in a period of waiting for, for it to sort of uh, come to light come into full manifestation and so that's that waiting period there and what you're trying to create is a sort of a, a bit more of a structure a bit more of kind of a solid routine or a sense of kind of implementation into your lifestyle and how that relates to your work as well and then things start happening really really fast okay so let us see how because it, it, with with you having the magician it's incredibly powerful and for that to have with the eight of wands means that whatever you're doing wherever your thought patterns are going whatever you're thinking of it's happening super fast so be very very mindful of your thoughts because the universe is hearing it and i know that with time speeding up um because i mean uh, the scientists have looked into this um it's i think at the moment where we're at the moment it feel, it, it's it's as if um, we're experiencing double time. So this year would have been f twice faster than last year, which was twice faster than the year before. And then it kind of, sort of smooths out to sort of lower. So time is happening really, really fast these days. It's because of the great um, awakening, the great shift that we're going through. Um, but when, so that's why it's so important to be very mindful of where your thoughts are at because manifestation is happening very, very quickly nowadays. Okay, and will continue to happen very quickly. Okay, so three of wands, please. Can we clarify the three of wands? Thank you. The hermit. Okay, so he's still trying to work it out. Uh, the four of, thank you. Four of wands. We've got the hangman again, still waiting, still waiting. So that's the same card as this. Three of uh, rods, or wands, rather. Um. So the hermit's still trying to work out what uh, what it is that they want, but this 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 wanting this kind of like the structure, this um, set, uh, this lifestyle that feels kind of happy and involved. It could also be if you you're considering kind of um, uh, a sort of a let's call it a proposal of. Um, either marriage or a business proposal whatever that is um it could be even that you sort of considering that like what would enhance my life what would create more happiness and more structure and more balance within my life as it relates to my heart space and as it relates to the kind of the work and my general day-to-day -day stuff and you still kind of you're manifesting that and you're kind of working out what that is but there's a lot of waiting <laughs> involved over here kind of like really sussing that out so be very very careful with your mind because we've got the hermit which is about soul searching we've got the hanged man which is about seeing it from many different angles and we've got um Oh, sorry, it's not the two of, it's, 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 it's the two of ones, not the three. So we've got the two, three, and four of ones, and then we've got the eight of ones. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so you definitely are willing to look forward. You see, he's got the globe and the world in his hand. He might be considering world travel, but ultimately what he's doing is, is how does he take the next step? He's got two firmly parts in the ground, just like that three, but he wants to move it into the four. He wants to create it into more of a solidness so it could even be that perhaps you've decided or you're in the you're kind of in that space of planning in your mind what does happiness mean to me and therefore when you when you recognize what it is that makes you happy in your world how can you create that into reality how can you move that into reality okay eight of wands can you clarify the eight of wands please whoa can't do that but i'll do the upright which landed there on the card which is the moon okay so this feels like to me that things are perhaps start to happen really really quickly but you don't you don't um it's a little bit i wouldn't say shady it's just it's not very clear so things start happening really really fast full manifestation starts appearing in your world and sometimes you don't recognize it because it's so fast and because it's almost um what's that word disguised as something else i want to go a bit further can we get another card for the moon can we get another one for the moon please um sorry another one for eight of wands eight of wands please oh okay we'll take all of them uh six of swords moving on to karma waters uh oh uh, five of swords um winning at all costs 
uh, Knight of Pentacles and then slow, steady movement forward. Okay, I see what's happening here. So forgive me, I correct myself when I said that it was happening really fast. Yes, manifestation is absolutely 100% happening really, really fast. But I feel like for you, it's um, it's not happening as quick as you'd like it. <laughs> because Knight of Pentacles is a very slow card, that slow action forward, okay? And um, it's also saying, try not to... Um, it's basically saying, yes, things can happen really, really fast, but try not to win at all costs, you know, try and move a little bit slower. Try not to just be, try not to be too impulsive, uh, with decisions. I, I feel like you are going to be getting more clarity of mind with that six of swords, um, you know, about how to, all the stuff that you, um, the, the planning and how you implement that in your reality, it's going to take a bit more, um, you will get the clarity for it. But I would say don't be too impulsive because while things are happening really, really fast, don't get caught up in the rush, okay? Um, manage your time especially because, I mean, the emperor, he does not rush, okay? Sometimes he has to if he's now, if, if war has suddenly been declared, but he has planned ahead for that war and he's got all the military and all the army all prepared. Everything's prepared. He's planned at, well ahead, okay? So with that leading into that, it's basically saying... Um, if things start happening fast around you, don't get caught up in the rush. Um, it means that, you know, things are manifesting quickly, but it's not so clear yet because of the moon card. So just just, just try and where, where you feel like someone's trying to rush you, just sort of slow them down and kind of go, no, 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 I need to do this my way. And my way is not kind of impulsively reacting to things and seeing it uh, in a deeper way because I know that it's not that clear at the moment. Okay, let us see now. So with so now the aspect is that the emperor, which is how you're planning and how you're implementing these ideals for um, your work life balance, um, your um, your how where you're happy, where is in, and what I mean by that is like how you can be happy in your work, how you can be happy in your home. It's like all all of these things. It's a big thing. Um, and you're trying to sort of find your system, find your way. And it is, it's coming under the um, challenges pile here because um, I feel like you want it now. You want it now because you've been in this phase and you feel like you've been waiting a long time and things start moving really, really fast, which can tempt you to jump the gun um, and saying, no, no, don't jump the gun. Um, it's, it's good to sort of slow it down and recognize uh, what needs to happen where which what paperwork do i need to fulfill what sort of organizations do i need to connect with um and make sure that i'm going the right route okay and if you implore implore um the emperor in you to sort of slow down and have the oversight of everything because when you're in this manifesting phase you have a bigger picture in mind okay you have a massive look bottom of the cards wish fulfillment nine of cups um you have the bigger picture at play, right? But it's how do you meet that big picture? So you've got the big picture and then here you are. But in order to get to the big picture, you have steps to take, right? Step-by-step -step action. And part of the step-by-step -step action is like following the rules and regulations that apply and knowing exactly, like I imagine that if, um, if, the, if we had the Moonology deck here, it would probably have that card that says New Moon and Taurus um you need dreams need a your dreams need a practical plan this is what's springing to mind but i'm not using that deck for this reading um two of wands please can we clarify the two of wands thank you we have oh yes the devil uh that seven of swords again trying to rush ahead and the lovers right okay so there is absolutely 100 percent the temptation to rush ahead and make a quick decision you don't have to you don't have to even though things are happening fast around you you don't have to now um the devil is actually your card so it's quite a strong card so it could also mean that you're sort of dealing with um with another capricorn um but ultimately what i'd say is this is absolutely saying don't rush the gun the emperor slows it down and i feel like that's going to be the biggest challenge for you this year um sorry this month is is that aspect of like um, 
I just want to get on with it. I just want my wish fulfillment. I just want that. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to get that. Don't. You can get it in a much like much easier way if you allow yourself to plan ahead and strategize. OK, and find out, do the research, do the exploring, figure out, work out what are the things that are holding, standing in your way to implement that. OK, don't be tempted to jump the gun because even though things might be happening really fast around you that doesn't mean you have to be sucked into that energy right it's very easy for us to be caught up in collective consciousness which um, can tend to be quite fear-based and um, if you allow yourself a bit of stillness and to go within and to decide that actually anything that is worth worth my while is worth waiting for and planning and doing stringent stringently Okay, because you can have it all. You can have it all. But the the law the law here, <laughs> the rule here is to um make the system work for you, you know, rather than be um a pawn of the system. Okay, the hierophant, please. Can we clarify the hierophant? Why is the hierophant here? Thank you. Yes, <laughs> same card as over here. We've got the four of wands twice, right? So I love it when they keep repeating. They're just confirming it. Yeah, you're trying to work out systematically um, how um, how you can get your wish. Because I feel like this is your wish fulfillment. Wish, um, this is a beautiful card. It talks about everything sort of stable and structured and lifestyle is good. It's like your halfway to marriage card. It's like could, could even talk about holidays. So perhaps... This whole reading is about the fact that you want to go on holiday, but you don't want to, um, you don't want to quickly get the, uh, you see a good deal of a flight and you want to jump ahead. But of course you can't because perhaps there's like COVID restrictions or whatever. And then it's saying, no, 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 don't get caught up in the frenzy. Don't get caught up with the deal that comes to, to mind. Do um, uh, plan ahead, plan ahead. Make sure, don't be tempted to rush ahead okay plan ahead because um if you follow the rules um it you're more likely to attain it quicker if, if you know what i mean and i hate to say that because you know i do get a little bit annoyed with um uh, society telling us what to do every five minutes it seems um it's uh, very it can be very um suppressive energy which i don't like but then i just have to remind myself that i still have choice within that and that it's it's only negative if you believe it's negative sometimes uh, you know there is a higher element or reason at play you know nothing is ever a coincidence and so let me educate myself into what those systems are and why they're there and how I can work within that parameter. And then we got the sun here. Let's clarify the sun, which is that illumination of how to do it. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> the three of ones again and the queen of ones. Yes, 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 yes. So this is now you boldly taking action to do so. You boldly, it's like with him, he decides to, um, he now charges ahead with that energy over there and with that illumination it enables you to do so so the sun is coming in which is a, the most powerful um, and positive card of uh, the deck and it's basically paving the way of how to do it and part of that paving the way in terms of um, planning ahead and working with the structures that be to create your happy ever after right um, is um, about being a little bit bold in your um, your actions being bold but not rushed okay so and that's basically the emperor like in one he is bold but he doesn't need to rush he can work at, a, at um in an emergency absolutely but because he's he's planned ahead for all of these situations so if you can Im implement more of that emperor energy in you and not be tempted to sort of rush ahead on impulse then um the way is going to be shown towards you and you can absolutely move forward but with boldness boldness and bravery the queen of wands with that with that strength card that all talks about that courage that determination moving forward okay ten of cups often talks about like you know a happy home over here let's have a look uh let's clarify the ten of cups please i shall put these cards back in i like to put them back in because i want to have the full spectrum of clarifying cards and not use up them all okay so um 
Ten of Cups is like happy home, uh, happy ever after, ultimate wish fulfillment, um, ultimate emotional fulfillment too. And um, there is strength here. So it's like hmm, having the courage to either go to your family. So if it was like on holiday and um, you wanted to go somewhere to be with your family or for the festive season or anything like that, um, it's saying don't rush, don't be tempted to to be caught up in the in in the currents of energy of the, that are fear-based work with the systems because um things will be illuminated and you can be bold with that but with the ten of cups let us clarify because strength is needed here which is talks about courage and stamina okay nine of wands yes 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 so it could be that perhaps so for some of you as well it's it could be the situation where you just you just want to kind of reconnect with um friends and family loved ones um and you've been wanting to do so for a long time um and you haven't been able to because of certain restrictions or travel um things and you haven't been able to connect and it's 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 been like this long long journey where you've been sort of a bit on your own and it's been difficult and you've been working really hard and now what you want is you want that gift you want that happy lifestyle for others of you, we're, um, so so that as it relates to like a travel, because that feels like it's coming up, even though I don't have any travel cards, it feels like it could be something that is um, the theme of December for some Capricorns. Um, for others of you, if it's that, that four of ones that you're creating for yourself, that happy lifestyle where everything kind of is, it feels a bit solid and structured and in place, the strength comes in because it takes a bit more courage uh, because you feel like you're at your wit's end a little bit with that nine of wands you know you feel like you've been doing all the work all the, you've been the magician you've done all the uh, like spiritual pulling in of all the energies in your power you've been the emperor you know planning ahead doing the things that are really annoying because you just want to get on and do it you've been doing the work and then finally you're like but i i don't have it yet and this basically says um courage with that, with that um, queen of wands that was clarified here by the sun, take courage and stamina. The nine of wands is the natural ending. It's a nine. You've come to the end of that. It means that you will get to your happier ever after card. You will, you will. It just takes a little bit more courage, a little bit more stamina. Um, so uh, you're going to feel a little bit, I feel like there's going to be a situation in December where it's like, you feel so close and you've been working with the energies and brilliant but then you're so close to achieving your goal and you're like god but now this is coming my way how do i deal with this um i feel like you will absolutely because we've got the ace of pentacles here 100 percent. okay you will you will you will you're just gonna have many kind of um barriers come up many sort of obstacles that are going to be like um of a higher like beyond your control right uh, just work through them work through them um uh, see it as a game right that um you've got your goal that you want to reach but um how do you overcome these little um hurdles and um if you see it if you bring love to it and lightness to it and see it as a game a pleasurable game it won't feel so tiring and perhaps it also will allow you to take a little bit more of a calculated risk as well with that bravery and courage let's go to ace of pentacles for you Thank you. Oops. Healing. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles means you get an opportunity for your rest and relaxation. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles, um, I want to get another card actually, because it gives you the it's like if you Yeah, okay. Take another. Thank you. A star. Oh, okay. So I have to say, both these cards together talk about healing. Okay. One is having the opportunity to rest and recoup and do some healing. The other one with the star card talks about healing, faith, cleansing, all of those beautiful things. It's a major arcana, so it's very, very, very strong. A brand new beginning is coming your way. So just when you feel at the end of your tether and you're exhausting all your reserves, you know, your reserves of courage and stamina and working hard, just as you feel like, oh God, I don't have it yet. The Ace of Pentacles comes in. And what that is, is it could it could be, um, it's a brand new beginning. So either it's um, a, 
like something that um like money it could be money because it's um, a pentacle it could be property so anything in the physical world it but it's a brand new beginning of something that has longevity to it so it could be a new job it could be a new um, home it can be a new love partner whatever it is is brand new what it will enable you to do is to heal and rest and recover from all this all this hard work that you've been at all i mean capricorns you are like one of the hardest workers anywhere in the zodiac you know that you know how to implement yourself you know how to apply yourself right and you have been 100 percent. but as you come to the end of the year it's that natural like breather because you know now the sun is in your sign and um you have a chance to kind of rest and recoup and be rejuvenated by that um by the sun being in your in your sign right and um the, the year comes to an end you can finish things off and start a new slate um so i do feel like you you are getting some good luck coming in because you've manifested it and you've Im implemented the emperor here and what it's really going to allow you to do is just to kind of sigh of relief just breathe a little bit and knowing that you're going to get your wish fulfillment it could even be an opportunity that puts you in the limelight over here as well if if that's the kind of work interest that you're going towards whatever it is there is going to be some sort of celebration here i do feel like it's celebratory but it it's it it allows you just to take a breather like a well-deserved breather and then we've got the strength card again so let's just take that one the strength card please Queen of Wands, yes. So Queen of Wands again. So the Queen of Wands came up with the the Sun card when we clarified that, and it's come again with the Strength card. Again, it's saying you. It said I don't know how many times now. It said it there. It said it there. It's saying it absolutely here, and it said it there as well. Be bold. Be bold. Claim your prize. Claim what you want, and go and get it. But don't go and get it just because everyone is all else is rushing in or there's like a learn to understand the energy. So if you're feeling this pull of something that's kind of pulling you to um, do something too quickly without adequate planning, notice how where that pool is coming from is that pool deriving out of fear-based energy or is it a pool of excitement and positivity use those as your sort of discerning uh, signposts um but ultimately be true to sorry about that uh be true to your boldness and your passion and your power because you're absolutely getting it um for some of you this ace of pentacles here is going to be um a situation where you are becoming the leader in something a project that's starting your own business something that you've been hoping for perhaps that's what you've been manifesting here with the magician is that you wanted a situation where you could work for yourself be your own boss um earn your own money make your own decisions and be your own emperor but you still got to navigate the systems that be um that you know the structures that are already in place to know how you can do it and then it says be bold go out and do it absolutely go out and do it okay so a really exciting month for you um capricorn it is your birthday month after all so this is a nice little birthday present um so it's good to get excited just be very just just have your mind on where the, the uh, your environmental energies are going the people that you hang around with what are they what are they pulling you to do? Because it feels like there's a temptation to be pulled in a direction that actually you're not vibing with. So that's why it's very important not to get caught up in the rush. It's like the gold rush. This feels like the gold rush, right? Don't be pulled up in the rush to get there too quickly because you'll get there faster if you plan <laughs> and do the research. Um, can we have a card, please, for beautiful Capricorn for their birthday month of December? That's good. What do they need to know for December, please? What do we need to know for December, please? Oh, they're not being very <laughs> energetic with the cards here. I'll keep going. Thank you. Oop. Okay, well, they want to. That's that's what we'll do. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? You see, you have a vision. And the thing is, it's quite difficult when we have the vision... But we don't know what it really looks like in reality okay but if you keep holding that vision answer the call that tug that you're feeling 
move with it okay and then we've got um the pillar of light your vibrations are rising you are the oracle so perhaps this way this new lifestyle that you're manifesting and bringing it to being is um is a thing that's going to set you aside from the rest as a type of guide to others so when and i mean capricorn you, you generally do tend to do this quite a bit where you um you know how to apply yourself and you know the systems that be to make things happen because you know how to work hard for it right trouble is when we're in the great shift and we're in this um era um we're awakening to this um era of consciousness things don't work how they used to work you know the old energies are the old now we're, we're in something new and uh, you being in your full power you can apply your natural innate ethics and when i say ethics i mean working ethics you are able to apply that to a brand new energy okay and as you do so you set the stage for others you set the example for others okay so by in by working with these energies and finding this you are going to be inspiring others and as you do so your vibrations are rising you're reaching higher consciousness and you're your ba you are that pillar of light you are that pillar that beacon for others okay so actually this december is really interesting because not only is it your birthday month and the sun is in your sign uh, happy days but you're finding ways to work around the restrictions currently in place to get what you to get your happy ever after okay and by maintaining that that is enabling others to sort of follow in your footsteps in the way of making a situation work for them rather than being made by a situation. So actually, this thing that you're working on, this, this month of December is very, power, very, very powerful for you because um, it's actually quite there's a lot of spiritual undercurrent with it there's a spiritual force behind this okay it's all like happening in the physical world but underlying that invisible energy and current of energy is actually part of your soul purpose okay so it's it's really really nice because you're kind of embracing both most people tend to go either one or the other and it's very difficult to find the balance but i feel like you've got the balance here you're finding the balance um as long as you don't get tempted, you're not tempted to be pulled into fear-based energy of the people around you and what everyone else is doing. Because you're doing your own thing. <laughs> you're paving a brand new way of how to get what you want. Um, you know, so it's really powerful, Capricorn. So, lovely. <laughs> That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, subscribe, comment and share. And um, I do also offer personal readings. Um, you can go to my website, loveitormore.com or uh, check out the description box below. Have a wonderful December and I'll see you next year. Take care. Bye.